Hello there! In this video I'm going to show you how you can run Stable Diffusion on any computer using Google Colab. This way is more suitable for people that don't have a strong PC with a strong graphics card, but still want to create AI art for free. In this video I'm not going to show you how to use Stable Diffusion or explain the different settings, this video is only focused on actually setting up and running this code app. If you want to learn how to use Stable Diffusion in detail, check out my complete beginner's tutorial video in the description. There I explain everything you need to know to get started and even more. So the setup for this collab is pretty simple, don't get scared by all of this information you see. First of all, you need to open this website, this Google Colab, just click on the link I provided in the description. The next thing we need is to download a model that will basically be the brain behind all of this. It's also written over here. You need to get the CKPT file and put it in your Google Drive. So that is exactly what we're going to do. We go to the Hugging Face website and download a model. You don't actually need to sign in, just look for the Stable Diffusion 1.5 model. It's about 4GB, so it may take you some time to download. In the meanwhile, you need to open your Google Drive. I assume you have a Google account, so just open your drive and create a folder named AI. Inside of that folder, create another folder named Models. This is where we're going to place the model when it's finally downloaded. Now that the model is downloaded, just upload it into this folder. Now we go back to the Colab and all we need to do is run the code. So go to Runtime, Run All, and you are going to see all of these checkpoints executing one by one. When you see a message, just keep clicking OK. When it will ask you to access your Google Drive, then just accept and keep waiting. Now we can see all of these green check marks. It means that all the scripts were executed and we can start creating art. The user interface is not amazing, but it does the job. At the top, you can see the data of the computer that is hosting this collab. So when you render images, it will actually run on a remote computer. So it's not running on your PC, it's running on another PC. That's why you can run this even on a low end PC. So let's test it. Let's find some prompt online. I'm going to insert the prompt and leave all the settings on default. And I'm going to click on the play button. So we got our result. You can find all your images inside your drive. So that's all for this video. If you want to learn how to actually create different images and manipulate them, you can watch my tutorial. There you're going to learn everything you need to know to get started. So see you there.